So friends, I was invited to a wedding out in Las Vegas at the Little Church of the West, which was featured in Viva Las Vegas with Elvis and Ann Margaret getting married in this actual church. It is a friend of mine, Rick Crofts. He married Kim. And I didn't realize the implications of what we were doing here. This turned out to be a Tuesday night that this wedding was happening. And honestly, I should have put two and two together, but I didn't. So through this video, you'll figure out what I mean by putting two and two together and how this all came about. They had it on this specific day for a very specific reason that's incredible. Please watch this whole video. I think you will be blessed by it. Stay tuned. For today, Rick and Kim are here to become husband and wife. Who gives this beautiful bride away today? I do, her yeah. father. Very good. You guys give her a kiss on the cheek. <laughs> Shake this gentleman's hand. Everyone, please be seated. Thank you so much. Rick, Kim, you stand here today on the threshold of a great adventure, your marriage to each other. The adventure of marriage is not the reckless abandoning of yourself, your individuality, or who you are as a person. It's a humble opportunity. Today, you take all that you are, you strive to become all that you hope to be, with the person you love the most in this world by your side. Marriage is a covenant of promises that are written on the pages of your heart, but it's also a very big commitment. It's a commitment of your life together. It's a commitment of your love together. Most importantly, it's a commitment of the heart. Work hard every day to work out life's problems and challenges. Most importantly, you're going to be doing this together. Now please turn and face each other. Please join hands and look at each other. Rick, will you have Kim to be your wife? Do you promise to love her, honor her, comfort and cherish her, keep her in sickness and health, for richer, for poorer, forsaking all others, for as long as you both shall live? Yes, I do. Kim, will you have Rick to be your husband? Do you promise to love him, honor him, comfort and cherish him? Keep him in sickness and health. For richer, for poorer, forsaking all others, for as long as you both shall live? Yes, I do. Now as you look at each other, I want you to think back to the first day that you met. <laughs> <laughs> think back to the second day? <laughs> Would it be better? Okay. Well, from the beginning, all the way until today, my gosh, what a journey you two have been on. Lots of twists and turns, lefts and rights, ups, maybe some downs, but all of that has led to this day. All of that has led to this very moment. And with this moment in mind, I want the two of you to repeat after me together, please. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. Through joy and celebration. Through joy and celebration. Through love and understanding. Through love and understanding. I promise and pledge my faith. I promise and pledge my faith. May I have the rings, please? The rings you're about to exchange are the symbols of an unbroken circle. They have no beginning and no end, just as the love you two share has no beginning and no end. They're also made of a precious metal, symbolizing how truly special the love and faith is that you have for one another. So please take the ring you're going to give. Oh, look at this. Take, 
That's Dick's ring. <laughs> two-year anniversary of the guy shooting from Mandalay Bay. The place is right up here on the right where he shot into and all these Jeeps came from all over America in solidarity to join together for the people that lost their lives. Big smile. Look at 
into each other's eyes. Friends, if you did not recognize him, this is Dick Grove, Elvis's head of security, and he was the best man in Rick and Kim's wedding. And there's Rick and Kim coming in, and Rick is going to give a speech here that is going to tell you why they got married tonight. What you doing back here, Dick? Getting ready to toast them. That's important. Got to give the toast, but I don't know what I'm going to say. Just speak from the heart. We'll fake it. That's all you can do. All right, let me introduce our first presenter standing here right beside me, Mr. Dick Grove. Give him a round of applause as he gets ready to take his first time making a toast for the beautiful couple. Here you go, sir. Thank you. You even got the last name right. You got her on the ball. Good evening and glad everybody is here. I know that uh, we're all here for a very special event. And that's to welcome and honor the new bride and groom. And I've known the groom for about 20 years. That's probably a year or two too long. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've only known the bride You want me to go over and talk to him? <laughs> I'm trying to avoid him. That's why I stood over there next to the guy that got my name right. <laughs> anyway, I've known the bride for about a year. And that corresponds to this day, which I'm told was their very first date a year ago. Two. Two years. Two years ago. You've been going together for two years, <laughs> and you haven't married her until today? What is wrong with you, boy? <laughs> During the time that I've known the two of them, I've known that they've gone through some trials, and tribulations and they've stayed together which is kind of hard to understand because they are the most opposite people I've ever met but it just goes to show you that they have proven a science theory opposites attract and between the two of them there is a common thread that keeps them together and that they love everybody around they have gone out of their way given their time to help people and people from all over the world because Rick happens to be one of the best known people about Elvis Presley why he knows that, I don't know. I don't know either. His bride puts up with it. And I think she needs to get a round of applause for doing that. Sorry. But Rick and Kim have a thing going together. I have never seen either one of them as happy as they are today. And that's because all of you people are here to pay respects to them for all they've done and how they've managed to stay together 
despite Rick wanting to have all those pictures in the bathroom. <laughs> Kim has put her foot down. So let us drink a toast to the new couple. May your life be full of joy always. And now I would like to introduce Mr. Rick to you. He would like to say a few words. And I've talked to the DJ over here. When a few words are up, he'll start playing really loud. <laughs> Thank you, thank you to Kim for coming here tonight. <laughs> um, thank you to everybody for um, coming from all the different places that you came from. Um, Henrik, stand up, please. Get they? They came from Denmark for this tonight. So they get the award for coming from the farthest place. You don't get anything, but thank you for coming out. Um, I'd like to thank my my side of the family for being here and being all in the same room and not killing each other. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, but it's, it's just great to see everybody here. So I'm probably the burning question that a lot of you have is, what are we doing here on a Tuesday night? Um, So, Kim and I met, and she was supposed to go to a concert. She had tickets, and she didn't go because she was with me. It was two years ago tonight. So that's why we chose today. So I'm sorry it's on a Tuesday. Some of y'all have to work, and it's late, and people have to get up early and all that. But that, that's why we chose today as a special day to us. Um, she was supposed to be there, uh, but we were having a great time together just hanging out. And she uh, decided to stay home instead. She was with me. And since that day, we have been inseparable. We have not spent a day apart from each other, except she had a work trip that she had to go to. She's gone for a couple of days. We've been together literally every single day since then. And we have an unbreakable bond that started literally that day. She walked in and has never left my life since then. So that's why we're here on a Tuesday, so I'm sorry, but it meant something to us, so that's why we're here tonight. So the last thing I'd like to say, is that other than I love you very much and you've, you've changed my life, is that you make me every day want to be a better man.
Sadly, this was the last time that Trey and I got to film Dick Grove. He passed away about seven months, almost seven months after this night. We're going to miss you, Dick. We appreciate you, man. We know that you're taking care of business. Pray for that family, friends, Melissa and all of them, and Rick and Kim. Keep them all in your prayers. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this story. I thought it was incredible, and I hope you did too. <music>